I'm going to tell you a Bible story. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Ladies and gentlemen, the story you're about to hear is true. I'm a detective. Abramowitz, Joe, just the facts, ma'am. I didn't see anything, but I know what happened. Detective Abramowitz, my sister Elodia, who finds the joy and humor in life, told me to tell you about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abegnigo. Well, the leader, Nebuchadnezzar, sent out an order saying that when the people heard the sound of the horn, everybody has to fall down on their knees and worship the golden statue. Anybody who doesn't will be thrown into a white hot furnace. Well, the three administrators, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego paid no attention to the law. They are men of God, capital G. Nebuchadnezzar flew into a race. He told them they had to do it. They said, our God, who we serve, can save us from the white hot furnace. And even if he does it, we will not serve your God, lowercase g. I explained this in the story of the golden calf number 23. Anyway, they told Nebuchadnezzar that they would not worship the golden statue that he set up. Nebuchadnezzar became livid and he was filled with rage. He ordered the furnace to be made seven times hotter than usual. And he had the strongest men in his army throw the three of them into the furnace. The fire was so big that it devoured the soldiers who threw the three men into the, the fire. Well, the three men fell into the middle of the furnace with their clothes on. They prayed. Now Nebuchadnezzar went down to the furnace and looked in there. What? What did he see? He yelled out, I see four men unbound walking around in there. Like my sister Elodie loves to tell me God sent an angel to protect them. It was a miracle. Nebuchadnezzar went to the opening and he called them out. The three men came out. Not a hair on their heads was singed. singed. Their clothes were still on their bodies. There was no smell of fire or smoke on them. Bottom line, we should not give in to things that we know are wrong. Stand strong in truth and be joyful because we follow the way of God. Daniel chapter 3, verses 10 to 100. Well, we're done for today. I'm leaving. Please view the comments from A.M. Jordan.